I want to welcome you to the um, pandas class again. So this is just to review again that this is an exploration of the pandas documentation. In we already talked about the overview of pandas, I introduced that in the last um, video. So today we want to look at various ways you can start get started with working with um, pandas and there are several ways to install pandas and several ways to um, get pandas to run and you you start doing your analysis but I'll just like to show you three um, ways three different ways and I'll talk about the pros and cons I'll probably divide cut this video into those three um, parts so that you can have them or per perhaps I'll just slice them here. I don't know yet, but just watch out for that. So uh, the first way I want to show you is perhaps the simplest way in my opinion is to log into your Google account if you have one. Open your browser. This is Chrome. I opened Chrome browser and log into your Google account. If you don't have one, you may have to create a Google account. Okay, so once you're once that is done, I'm assuming that you already have a Gmail account. If you don't have one, you should create one before you start watching this. And if you want to create one, just go to gmail.com that should take you to where you should where you find one so i already have like i said what do i need to do i just need to go to um collabs collab dot research and i'll put a link to this in the description below collab dot research dot google dot com and once you hit the enter button it takes you here where you have this pop-up just click on new notebook. Once you click on new notebook, you can save the file, um, say maybe intro to pandas or something like that and hit the enter button and you are good to go already. So one of the advantages of this is that you don't have to install anything. You just need to launch um, that collab.research.google.com and you, you, you start working. So, I mean, import pandas as PD and I run that and I wait for it to run. And as you can see with this tick mark, perhaps I should just zoom in a bit. With this tick mark here, it shows that this is working. And so that's all you need to work with Google Colab. And I feel like in my in my opinion this is the simplest way you can start working with pandas. Um but the, the disadvantage of this is that you have to be online, right? Because this and okay, I think I should talk about another advantage is the fact that you don't have to save this um yourself. It gets automatically saved. And another thing is that your files are automatically stored uh, in on your space in in google so it's not like you have to start working with um, some other um technologies like git github you know you already have these files stored for you in your space so you can always have access to these as long as you have access to your um, gmail account so that's another advantage of this. Another advantage, of course, as you can see, is that we we didn't I don't we don't have to install anything, right? We just start working with pandas, and that's all. But the disadvantage that I see here, especially for those who are in areas where you do not have the luxury of connecting to the internet all the time, is that this requires you to connect to be connected to the internet because it's it's saving, it's syncing automatically. And so if you don't have um, a good, if you don't have a good um, internet resource or you, you don't want to run this online, 
Um, there are other ways to do that, and that's what I'll show you in the next um, section. So see you then, and we'll talk about another way which would be much preferred for those who do not have um, internet resources available all the time. So see you there. Bye.